What's up, Facebook? I hope you're having a great start to the week. Instagram, welcome, welcome. Like I said, I hope you are each having a fantastic start to your week, and I sincerely appreciate you and you taking a few minutes to join me this this evening, rather, to talk nutrition. And tonight, we are going to dissect the difference between the word diet and diet. And no, that's not a typo. No, I did not misspeak. Too often, there is misconstrued use of the word diet. And in fact, it actually has several meanings. And tonight, I want to differentiate the several important meanings that you ought to recognize and then talk about how each meaning of that word comes into play for your ability to reach your weight loss, your health, your physique, or your performance goal and then be able to sustain it. So if you were to go to your best friend Google and type in the word diet and go find the search that brings you Merriam-Webster's Dictionary or something very similar and reputable, let's throw Wikipedia out of the equation in this one instance, because usually Wiki's a good, quick, go-to source, I know. However, you'll find a multitude of definitions for the word diet. One popular definition amongst many uh, definition sources or dictionaries is a habitual way of eating. It's simply the way you eat over an extended period of time, over and over again. So for instance, a vegetarian follows a vegetarian diet. He or she eats nothing but plant-based products over and over again. That is their routine, their habit. Conversely, in the weight loss industry, the multi-billion dollar weight loss industry, diet as you and I both most po- are more popularly know the word as, refers to a calorie deficit with the intention of eating fewer calories than you are burning to drive weight or fat loss. Now, again, we have a routine, habitual way of eating or intentionally eating fewer calories than we need to drive weight loss. The same word with two very different meanings. And it's extremely important that you recognize what you mean or what you are aiming for when you talk about dieting. Now, a lot of people I work with or who inquire about working with me talk to me all about dieting. They want to diet. They want to lose weight. They want to do this, that, the other. And the way they talk to me sometimes makes me feel as if they think I am just a diet coach or a fat loss coach. Well, in fact, I am a diet coach but not diet in the sense that they recognize or that they mean. What I mean is I want to provide them the education, the information, the tools, the strategies, the confidence to, uh, I should say, to build a foundation of healthy eating habits and one that allows them to sustain these eating habits to continue progressing in their health, physique, and performance goals. However, the common thought process is I'm going to help them lose weight and then I'm going to forget about them or they're going to forget about me and they're going to move on with the rest of their life. But that's not how it should operate. So what I challenge you and you to do is start viewing the word diet with the mindset of it being a healthy, sustainable approach to eating, an approach to food balance and a positive mindset that you're able to sustain six months from now, six years from now, and even 60 years from now. Because if you are not able to consistently make healthy eating choices, meaning choosing the appropriate nutrients, the appropriate portions for you and your health, physique, and performance goals, you're going to continue to ebb and flow on the scale in terms of energy, your confidence, your well-being, your performance, and your body composition. And that is not what you're striving for. You are striving for consistency in health, physique, and performance, and moreover, consistency in that you're progressing forward and continuing to make improvements. If you just view the word diet as this 12-week period where you eat fewer calories than you, than you burn to drive weight loss, well, what happens next? What are you going to do after that diet ends? So my message this evening is to re- Phrase your th- or reframe your thought process when it comes to the word diet. You need to view diet as long lasting healthy eating behaviors, behaviors with food that you're able to sustain. And then you're able to progress 
to the next definition of diet or the alternative in that now that you've mastered these healthy eating behaviors, this solid foundation, you can then simply turn on the dieting switch that you and I both are most aware of and that now you've got these healthy eating behaviors in place. They're a foundation, a staple. You are practicing them day in and day out, weekday versus weekend. Now all of a sudden you have the knowledge, the experience, the education to adjust your portion sizes appropriately so that you now are aiming or intentionally trying to eat in a calorie deficit to drive weight loss and you are in fact dieting. But once your 10 to 14 week diet comes to a conclusion, your dietary approach, your overall approach to nutrition doesn't change. You're still focusing on lean proteins, high fiber carbs, healthy fats, fruits, vegetables, fluids, dairy, etc., with an overall balanced approach with moderation, including foods that you enjoy on occasion. Yes, now you're out of a calorie deficit, but your dietary behaviors do remain intact. And it's this mindset that is going to propel you forward and allow you to actually find a healthy mindset and an overall calm and positive relationship with food and the scale so that you're able to sustain your weight loss again today. Danielle, good to see you. Not literally, but you know what I mean. Uh, so you're able to sustain for the next week few months, few years, and then some. And this is absolutely vital, yet so many people miss the mark here. And as you can see, what where the, I get caught up in this is I don't like the word diet. I really am not a fan. I try to use you know nutrition plan or nutrition approach instead of the word diet just because the word diet is so misconstrued and often misused that it just paints a very bleak picture of dieting. It's just like, oh, God. Six meals of chicken and broccoli and the occasional splash of brown rice for 12 weeks. You get really lean and then pff, all goes to hell. You lose all your progress. You take five steps back and you have to do the whole thing over and over again. So I hope this video was helpful just to enable you to different or rather to see the difference between the two uses of the word diet to better frame your mindset for a healthier and sustainable relationship with food so you can maintain all of your hard work. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, I would love to follow up with you. Please don't hesitate to reach out. On Thursday, 7.30 p.m. Eastern Time, we are going to get, dive into detail about how you can better track progress during a dieting phase to reduce your reliance on the scale. Have a great night, everyone, and I'll talk to you Thursday.